जियोबाइट वेलकम टू द जियोबाइट इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस डिस्कस द सॉल्यूशंस फॉर प्रीवियस क्वेश्चंस गिवन फॉर फिजिक्स अंडर द जनरल नॉलेज सिंस ईच एंड एवरी प्रॉब्लम आई कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम different competitive exams therefore each and every problem is equal important my request is you please watch till the end of the video look at the very first problem the very first question is a refrigerator works on which of the following principle option a osmosis option b centrifugation option c dispersion option d evaporation the correct answer is option d evaporation dear friends remember the working material used in the refrigerator is called refrigerant by the time the refrigerant is evaporating it is absorbing the heat from the surroundings therefore whatever the working material you are keeping inside the refrigerator are getting cooled anyhow by the time the refrigerant is evaporating by the time the refrigerant is evaporating the working material is cooled therefore by the principle of evaporation of the refrigerant inside the refrigerator the working material is cooled therefore evaporation principle is working out for the refrigerator i hope you clearly got my point look at the second question asked in 2018 for cds exam which of the following represents a relation for heat loss is equal to heat gained option a principle of thermal equilibrium option b principle of colors option c principle of calorimetry option d principle of vaporization the correct answer is principle of calorimetry the principle of calorimetry states like this a principle of calorimetry states if there is no loss of heat in surroundings that the total heat loss by the hot body is equal to heat gained by the cold body once again the principle of calorimetry states that if there is no heat loss to the surroundings the heat lost by the hot body is exactly equal to heat gained by the cold body therefore option b is absolutely correct i hope you got my point let us move to the next question look at the next one which one of the following statements is not correct you are asked to decide incorrect statement the first statement is in the conduction mode of transfer of heat the molecules of solid pass heat from one molecule to other molecule the statement is correct but you are asked to decide the incorrect statement therefore option a is not correct look at the option b the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a substance is called its specific heat capacity no the statement for specific heat is the amount of heat required to one unit mass of working material to raise the temperature through 1 degree centigrade is called specific heat it is simply given to raise the temperature not the total temperature to raise the temperature through 1 degree centigrade is called specific heat therefore the option b is not looking correct therefore that is our option option b is absolutely correct 
let me read the third statement the process of heat transfer in liquids and gases is through convection mode absolutely correct the process of the process of heat transfer from a body at higher temperature to a body at lower temperature without heating the space between them is known as radiation so option a option c option d statements are correct option b is not correct incorrect statement is only option b therefore option b is absolutely correct i hope you got my point let us take the one more question look at the fourth question the statement that heat cannot flow by itself from a body at a lower temperature is known as second law of thermodynamics dear friends remember second law of thermodynamics states that it is impossible to transfer the heat from a body at low temperature to another body at high temperature without connecting any mechanical mediator it means if you connect the mechanical mediator between the body at low temperature and the body at high temperature it is possible to transfer the heat from low temperature body to high temperature body also like how naturally water is always flowing down reverse is not naturally possible but if you want to supply the water to the overhead tank you are connecting the mechanical mediator called pump in the same way naturally heat is transferring from high temperature body to low temperature body if you want to transfer the heat from low temperature body to high temperature body between them you need to connect a mechanical mediator anyhow second law states that it is impossible to transfer the heat from a body at low temperature to another body at high temperature without connecting the mechanical mediator so option c is absolutely correct similarly let us take the fifth question look at the fifth one asked in 2019 for uppsc exam thermos flask prevents the heat loss by radiation conduction convection all of the above the correct answer is option d all of the above thermos flask is coming under an isolated system it does not allow the heat transfer by any means like conduction convection and radiation i hope you clearly got my point let us move to the next one look at the sixth one asked in 2019 for nda exam in which one of the following phenomena do heat waves travel along a straight line with the speed of the light option a thermal conduction option b thermal convection option c thermal radiation d both thermal conduction and radiation dear friends the correct answer is option c thermal radiation in the process of radiation heat transfer the heat waves are traveling along a straight line with the light speed therefore option c is absolutely correct let us move to the next one look at the seventh one asked in 2017 for nda exam like this the amount of heat required to change a liquid to gaseous state without any change in temperature is known as option a specific heat capacity option b mechanical equivalent of heat option c latent heat of vaporization option d finching process the correct answer is 
latent heat of vaporization dear friends whatever the heat which is required for any pure substance like water to change its phase from solid to liquid or liquid to solid or from liquid to vapor or from vapor to liquid or from solid to vapor or vapor to solid is called latent heat latent heat means the amount of heat transfer at constant temperature during the phase change of any pure substance like water is called latent heat anyhow to change the phase from liquid to vapor the kind of heat transfer is latent heat of vaporization during the latent heat of vaporization temperature remains constant that temperature is called saturation temperature saturation temperature i hope you clearly got my point let us move to the next one look at the eighth one asked in 2019 for nda exam if the work done on the system or by the system is zero which one of the following statements for a gas kept at a certain temperature is correct you are asked to decide the statement for work transfer equal to zero option a change in internal energy of the system is equal to flow of heat in or out of the system that statement is absolutely correct because according to first law of thermodynamics heat transfer q equal to work done plus change in internal energy it is given that work done equal to zero let me read the statement once again if the work done on the system or by the system is zero it means work transfer is zero if the work transfer is zero the heat transfer is equal to change in internal energy only that is only given as a option a change in internal energy of the system is equal to flow of heat in or out of the system that means heat transfer is equal to change in internal energy when the work interaction equal to zero therefore option a is absolutely correct i hope you got my point let us move to the next one look at the ninth one asked in 2013 for lower division clerk ldc like this a white and a smooth surface is option a good absorber and bad reflector of heat no bad absorber and bad reflector of heat no good absorber and good reflector of heat no option d bad absorber and good reflector of heat option d is absolutely correct dear friends remember a smooth and white surface always is coming under a good reflector and bad absorber the best example is mirror anyhow option d is absolutely correct let us move to the 10th one look at the 10th one given in 1995 for ias like this the clouds float in the atmosphere because of their low option a temperature b velocity option c pressure option d density the correct answer is option d density because of the low density of the clouds the clouds are always occupying at an certain height remember the temperature of the location where the clouds are staying is called dew point temperature let me write that point the temperature the temperature 
at which clouds are floating clouds are floating or staying is called dew point temperature dew point temperature popularly it is written as dpt i hope you clearly got my point once again dear friends remember the clouds are always staying at an elevated height because of the low density let us move to the 11th one look at the 11th one asked in 1999 for the ias exam low temperatures that is cryogenics find applications in option a space travel surgery and magnetic levitation option b surgery magnetic levitation and telemetry option c space travel surgery and telemetry option d space travel comma magnetic levitation and telemetry the correct answer is space travel surgery and magnetic levitation dear friends remember cryogenics means the method of providing and maintaining artificially very low temperatures is called cryogenics that mechanism is generally used in space travel surgery and magnetic levitation dear friends remember the method of artificially providing and maintaining up to minus 150 degree centigrade is called refrigeration beyond that temperature is called cryogenics so cryogenics means the method of artificially providing and maintaining below minus 150 degree centigrade is called cryogenics let me write that point the method of the method of artificially artificially providing and maintaining providing and maintaining up to minus 150 degree centigrade is called refrigeration refrigeration similarly cryogenics means the method of the method of artificially providing and maintaining providing and maintaining below minus 150 degree centigrade is called cryogenics i hope you got my point let us move to the next one look at the 12th one asked in 2001 for ias exam when water is heated from 0 degree centigrade to 10 degree centigrade its volume dear friends remember if i take the temperature versus volume coordinate system temperature versus volume coordinate system temperature is in y coordinate volume is in x coordinate assume this is the 0 degree centigrade the water is available somewhere here when i heat the water available at 0 degree centigrade dear friends remember 
the temperature keep on increasing but the volume decreases volume decreases up to reach up to it reaches to 4 degree centigrade once it reaches to 4 degree centigrade because of further heat addition the temperature keep on increasing up to it reaches to boiling point up to it reaches to boiling point temperature increases along with the temperature volume occupied by the water also increases once the water reaches to boiling point it starts evaporation during the entire evaporation process the temperature remains constant but liquid is becoming vapor liquid is becoming vapor anyhow if you observe the diagram closely by the time we are heating the water from 0 degree centigrade to 10 degree centigrade because the boiling point is happening at 100 degree centigrade at atmospheric pressure initially the volume decreases up to 4 degree centigrade thereafter along with temperature volume occupied by the water increases therefore look at the option d first decreases first decreases then increases option d is absolutely correct i hope all of you got my point and another important point is the water at this 4 degree centigrade is coming under ideal liquid or perfect liquid the viscosity of the water at 4 degree centigrade is zero let me write that point the water the water at 4 degree centigrade is called ideal liquid ideal liquid or perfect liquid perfect liquid at 4 degree centigrade at Eight minute let me write clearly at 4 degree centigrade the viscosity of the water is zero viscosity of water is zero and remember the water is coming under a perfect incompressible liquid exactly at 4 degree centigrade the water at 4 degree centigrade is coming under coming under perfectly perfectly incompressible material in compressible material i hope you got my point anyhow by the time we are heating the water from 0 degree centigrade to 10 degree centigrade initially the volume decreases from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade and it increases from 4 degree centigrade to 10 degree centigrade or up to boiling point let us move to the next one look at the 13th one asked in 2019 for SSA exam like this what will happen if glass bottle is completely filled with water sealed with a lid and put into a freezer it is like this the water is kept in the glass bottle again let us take the temperature versus volume diagram the water may be initially available let it be at 30 degree centigrade roughly this is the water state by the time the water is cooled when you keep the water bottle in the freezer the temperature of the water keep on decreasing from 30 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade up to it reaches to 4 degree centigrade volume decreases thereafter what is happening by the time the water is further cooling its 
volume increases volume increases up to it reaches to 0 degree centigrade in the freezer the water is becoming the water is becoming ice by the time the water is becoming ice further volume increases anyhow the state 2 may be the liquid state of water the same water is appearing as ice at state 3 look at the volume during the freezing process and during the cooling of the water from 4 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade volume keep on increasing since the volume of the water keep on increasing during the drop of temperature from 4 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade and during the freezing process since the water is kept inside the glass bottle glass is coming under a perfect brittle material since it does not go for any elongation or deformation eventually the glass bottle will be broken i hope you clearly got my point now look at the options look at the option b eventually the ice will burst the glass bottle by the time the ice is forming the volume occupied by the material increases along with the ice the glass bottle cannot expand therefore the glass bottle will be bursted option b is absolutely correct i hope you got my point let us move to the next one look at the 14th one asked in 2002 for ias like this a hollow sphere of radius r comma a hollow cube of side r and thin circular plate of radius r made up of some material that means the three like hollow sphere hollow cube and thin circular plate are made of same material are heated to 20 degree centigrade above room temperature when left to cool in the room which of them will reach the room temperature first that means if the temperature of the three bodies like hollow sphere hollow cube and thin circular plate is above 20 degree centigrade and three of them left in the atmosphere you are asked to decide which one will come to room temperature first definitely the thing which is maintaining more surface area can dump more and more heat to the surroundings that body can get back to its room temperature first dear friends among the three bodies like sphere cube and circular plate definitely sphere is maintaining more surface area because of more surface area maintained by the hollow sphere definitely the sphere comes to the room temperature first because the heat transfer rate with the sphere is very high compare it to hollow cube and circular plate therefore i am opting option c sphere i hope you clearly got my point similarly let us move to the other one look at the 15th one asked in 2003 for IAS exam like this consider the following statements steam at 100 degree centigrade and boiling water at 100 degree centigrade contain the same amount of heat no the water at boiling point and steam at boiling point both never be maintaining the same amount of heat because it is like this when you take the temperature versus heat temperature versus heat let us assume the water is initially available at 0 degree centigrade when you keep on adding the heat the temperature increases up to it reaches to boiling point so this is the amount of heat maintained by the water at boiling point this is the q of the water at boiling point 
once the water reaches to boiling point because of further heat addition the water starts evaporation once the water is completely evaporated the water is becoming steam here you are finding the steam at this state we are finding the water during the phase change from water to vapor water to steam we are adding some more heat therefore the heat maintained by the steam this is the heat maintained by the steam now look at the heat quantities so the water and steam are available at 100 degree centigrade that is boiling point heat maintained by the steam always greater than heat maintained by the water anyhow the first statement is absolutely wrong come to the second statement latent heat of fusion of ice is equal to latent heat of vaporization of water no because the latent heat generally denoted by hfg hfg during the vaporization of water is around 2 to 57 kilo joules per kg the same water during the phase change from liquid to solid that is called freezing during the ice formation or during the freezing freezing the latent heat is around 335 kilo joules per kg look at the heat exchange during the evaporation of water and during the freezing of water during the freezing of the water the amount of heat transfer is very less comparatively during the evaporation process anyhow the second statement also not absolutely correct this is absolutely correct look at the third statement in not in i am air conditioner heat is extracted from the room air at the evaporator coil and is rejected out at the rejected out at the condenser coil absolutely correct dear friends in our domestic refrigerator the deep freeze region is called evaporator whatever the things we are keeping in that evaporator those things are dumping the heat to the refrigerant flowing through the evaporator coil that means by the time the refrigerant is flowing through the evaporator coil it is absorbing the heat from the working material whatever you kept in the whatever you kept in the cabin space of the refrigerator and if you observe closely at the back side of the refrigerator there is a uh, coil called condenser if you touch that coil that is maintaining high temperature where the refrigerant is dumping the heat to surroundings that means refrigerant is extracting the heat from the working material from the evaporator section and is rejecting the heat to the surroundings in the condenser location though it is given for air conditioner without refrigeration system there is no air conditioning mechanism it means refrigerator I mean air conditioning air conditioning is one of the applications of refrigeration anyhow only third statement is absolutely correct i hope you got my point option d is absolutely correct let us move to the next one look at the 16th one asked for ias in 2010 like this what is the principle by which a cooling system that is radiator in a motor car works option a conduction only option b convection only option c radiation only d is both conduction and radiation dear friends remember in the uh, radiator the kind of heat transfer is convection therefore option b is absolutely correct i hope you got my point look at the 17th one it is asked in 
1996 for UPPS exam like this. Which of the following is the best conductor of heat? Option A. Mercury. Option B. Silver. Option C. Leather. Option D. Benjin. Among these three, these four materials, among these four materials, definitely silver can maintain better conductor of heat. Therefore, option B is absolutely correct. I hope you got my point. Let us move to the eighteenth question. Look at the eighteenth one. Asked in nineteen ninety six for BPSC exam. In the winter season, if we touch two blocks, one of iron and another of wood. in the early morning then the block of iron appears to be more cold because option a the temperature of the iron block is less than that of wooden block option b iron is good conductor of heat in comparison of wood option c iron is bad conductor of heat in comparison of wood option d the block of iron is heavier than the wooden block dear friends remember the iron is a good conductor of heat so when it is touched heat flows from our skin to the iron easily and our skin temperature drops suddenly then we are feeling cooler since the iron is maintaining the best conduction property therefore it is maintaining low temperature whenever your skin is touching the iron since your skin is maintaining high temperature then the iron piece your skin is dumping the heat to the iron piece therefore you are feeling your skin is sensing cooler anyhow option b is absolutely correct let us move to the 19th one Look at the nineteenth one, asked in nineteen ninety three for UPSC exam. The water from a hand pump is warm in winter because option A, our body is cold in winter, and water appears to be warm. No. Option B, the temperature inside the earth is higher than. the atmospheric temperature absolutely correct dear friends remember the earth is maintaining the energy called geothermal energy because of that geothermal energy the water the water in the underground level is always maintaining higher temperature than the surrounding atmospheric temperature therefore option b is absolutely correct let us move to the last one look at the last one asked in 2008 for cds exam which color of heat radiation represents the highest temperature option a blood red option b dark chimney option c shelvan option d white dear friends remember the correct answer is option d white i hope you got my point dear friends i am concluding with this problem in the next video we will discuss some more questions and solutions which were given in different competitive exams thank you for watching please subscribe our channel geobyte Have a great day. Geobyte.